guys, welcome to my channel. And today's tutorial is going to be back to basics. I mean, when I say back to basics, I mean we're going to learn today how to apply foundation, uh, concealer, how to color correct, contouring, highlighting, and all those good things. Have you ever wondered how these red carpet celebrities look so sharp and chiseled every single time? Uh, well, makeup plays a very important role in achieving that kind of a look. It's very easy to take a couple of pounds off your face using these hacks and makeup techniques. And I'm going to show you that exactly how. So if you would like to learn all these good things, keep watching. Okay, so first thing first, even before you apply a foundation, it is extremely important to color correct. Like I can't emphasize enough how important it is. Uh, when I say color correct, I mean cover your dark circles with an orange corrector. This is from LA Girl. Can you see? And if you have red blemishes, like uh, people with fairer skin tones, like lighter skin tones, tend to have redness under their eye. Uh, if you have acne, which is red, then the best solution would be a green color corrector like this. This is from LA Girl as well. Now I don't have dark circles as such, but I do have like eye bag kind of a thing. And I like to apply the corrector slightly on my forehead as well because I do have little tanning going on over here, which I hate, but okay, fine, we'll deal with it. There's makeup for everything. And I have slight marks over here, which are the result of the breakouts I had a couple of months ago so I like to correct them as well you just have to tab it into your skin okay and before I use my foundation I'm going to use a setting spray uh, the setting spray that I use is from Gerard Cosmetics it's called Slay All Day it's my most favorite setting spray in the recent times. So now for the foundation, I like to use the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So what I do is I mix two colors. This is Macau and Taho. Yeah, so I mix two colors. So I'm going to apply little dots everywhere. Shay, can you stop it? Please excuse those noises in the background. That's my little fur child. He just can't sit quietly. He just can't. With whatever product that is left on my blender, I'm just going to bring it down. Okay, so this is my little annoying fur child. He just can't sit. The minute he sees mommy getting busy, he just has to disturb her. Okay, bye. Bye now. Go. Go. No, Sheru, I'm busy now. I'm busy. Go. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry guys, he's just so annoying, but I love him. He's my baby. Where were we again? Okay, so anyway, so I'm gonna use the MAC concealer in NC35 to highlight my under eye area. Okay, so the rule of thumb is if you're not sure which color to pick for under eye highlighting, it, the safest thing to do is choose a color which is two shades lighter than your foundation. I hope that makes sense. So I'm using a concealer as a highlighter which is absolutely alright. Don't worry about how crazy it's looking right now. Uh, once we set it with a setting powder, it's all going to look nice, trust me. If you like, you can even highlight your chin area. Since we are at it, we may as well. 
and obviously your forehead just the center don't bring it all the way up top So we're done with the cream highlighting uh, and now we were going to go ahead and set it. So for setting, I used two powders. One is the Ben Ai Banana Powder. This powder I use for my under eyes specially. I do not use this for the rest of my face uh, because it has a yellow undertone to it and for Indian skins, a powder with yellow undertone just works like magic. Uh, like I can't even tell you how beautiful it looks. And the trick here is to use the same moist beauty blender to apply the powder. Ooh, you see the difference? This looks so airbrushed. Like I'm just, I just love how it's looking. It kind of look cute. And with a tapered brush like this, just swipe off. The excess. Ooh, I like it. Okay, next, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier powder. I'm gonna take a little bit of it with a powder brush. Moving on, we are going to contour our face now. Uh, for that, I'm using the MAC contouring shade. This is it. Uh, it's called Shadester. I love this color and I think, in my opinion, this color is great for Indian skins because it's got this perfect balance of a cool and a warm undertone. I'm going to use an angular brush like this and I'm going to tap it and I'm going to start from my ear and I'm going to bring it down towards my lips. You can suck in your cheek slightly so that so that you get that line. So you see this this is the hollow of my cheek. So I'm going to create a shadow over here. And make sure that when you contour the darker shade is towards your ear and the lighter shade is towards the middle of your face. So for that you need to blend it out really nicely. Because if you don't blend it, it's just going to look a very sharp brown patch on your face and it just looks terrible. And I'm going to use the same color and contour my forehead as well. And I'm going to contour my jawline. Now we're going to highlight our cheekbones. For, for that, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm going to highlight my cheekbones with this color over here called Amber Gold. And I'm going to place it on my cheekbones. So basically, you need to apply it on the higher planes of your cheeks and make sure that you control the application because you don't want that shimmer going all over your face so control the application and from a cleaner side now I'm just kind of blending it out and last one I like to do is enhance the glow of my cheeks for which I'm going to use this blush from NARS it's called orgasm yes you're right it's called orgasm i don't know why it's called that we'll find out so i'm going to place it on the apple of my cheeks for that i'm going to smile a little bit and you see this area over here this is where i'm going to place the blush and i'm going to blend it outwards and you got to blend it really well because you don't want a sharp contour and a highlight line to be seen. It all has to be blended. 
So when you apply blush is when you can blend it all together. It's really looking so nice. And we're almost done. I'm going to quickly finish my lips and my eyes and I'm going to come back. So I like to highlight and contour my nose and also highlight my cupid bows. But I like to do that after applying my lipstick because that gives you exactly the spot where you need to highlight. And I'm going to blend it so that it doesn't look very obvious. And I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose. And after highlighting the bridge of my nose, I'm going to contour it. I know some people like to do it before. Uh, I like to do it, the contouring later so that the highlight gets blended out and it doesn't look too sharp. So I'm going to use an angled brush like this and I'm just going to contour my nose. And then you clean the brush and you just go back blending it out. And just to finish this look, I'm going to take a fan brush like this and uh, I'm going to take the same highlighting color from the glow kit and I'm going to highlight my chin and the area above the eyebrows just for that extra glow because we love glow. I hope you will practice this at home and uh, I'm very positive that you will see the difference. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you to all you already subscribed. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe below. Uh, do let me know your comments and feedbacks. Uh, they're really valuable. They help me improve the quality of my videos. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Until next time. Bye guys.